There was this one high-pitched whine it was making, really grating noise, you know? And I searched and searched, but I couldn't find the source of the noise until we pulled in here. Was it the blower? No, it was Manny screaming in the back like a cat tied to a cruise missile. Ha ha ha! That's a good one. Good day, everyone, and welcome back. I'm Mike Like, and this is Grim Fandango. We're starting off right where we left off last day, and we're here in Rubicava. So something you should know is that this part is heavily influenced by the movie Casablanca. And if you haven't seen that movie, you should go watch it now. I'll wait. Are you back? That was quick. If you've seen the movie, you'll see some obvious um, things are based heavily on that movie. It's okay if you haven't seen it, but if you have, you're about to see <laughs> quite a few familiar things. So we're in this diner now. Last time we uh, went through the petrified forest and we fought some flaming beavers or demonic beavers. Now we're in this cafe type place we're looking for meche okay look this look hey how do you open these you wait till we start serving that's how good to know Ooh, newspaper hmm maybe i should place a personal hand i tried it believe me it attracts the wrong kind of women oh don't i know i have bigger things on my mind right now than condiments do you ever have condiments on your mind that's the question Let's talk to Celso. I'm ready to take you now. Manny Calavera, is that you? Didn't you used to be taller? So this is the guy that, yeah, we sold the walking stick to in the uh, first episode. I'm here to reclaim that walking stick. I broke it over the head of some hideous monsters in the forest. That is great. You got some use out of it. I'm looking for a woman named Mercedes Colomar. Well, no one's come through town by that name, and you can take it from me. I, too, am looking for someone, so I watch the comings and goings around here very carefully. Okay. I guess. Who are you looking for? Well, if you must know, it's about my wife. I got word that she passed away not long after I, and that she, too, was crossing the land of the dead on foot. It is said that all lost souls come to Rubakava, so I came here to wait for her. Oh, well. You must love her very much, also. Yes, this is true. Of course, she also has all of my money. How did she have all your money? Did they bury it with her? I don't understand how that works. How do you know your wife hasn't gone ahead of you? Oh, Manny, if she had arrived here first, surely she would have waited for me. She died... what? Oh, arrived at Rubikawa first. I thought it was time to... died first. I'll help you find your wife. What did she look like? Oh, here. I got this from the DOD and made copies to hand out. Isn't she something? She must have been beautiful with skin. Weren't we all? Mm, I seriously doubt that. So, know a good place to stay in town? What's your price range? Somewhere around the high end of nothing. Then maybe, young man, it's time you started thinking about a job. Can you get me a job here? Have any skills? Sales. Well, that does qualify you for a certain position, but we only have one mop. Ooh, I'm burn. sorry, Manuel. I've got to get this place ready to open. Right. I'll let you know if I see your wife. She'll be the one asking for a beloved Celso. If he has skin, that line would burn. Oh, let's look at her picture. Uh, no. It's Celso's wife. Actually, I don't think skin would help. I don't know. Doesn't look that bad. I wonder, are we going to see people that are big bone? I don't remember. Maybe she just looks evil. Evil! Down to the bone wagon. Not the boning wagon. The bone wagon. Thank you very much. I left my tow truck back in my other suit. 
Oh. Gladys, you gotta hide that car. I pushed the wrong button. Just give me a few more minutes in the driver's seat here. I wish Gladys would hide that thing. I, I left my tow truck back in my other suit. No. So the other way I can go is down this way, across the deck, and into the fog. Which hopefully don't have. Uh, nothing bad happens. You brought him all the way up here? You gotta watch your step around here, stranger. Rubicon ain't the quaint little port oh, town she used to be. Well, <laughs> looks like there's a new vessel in town. Pardon me whilst I go check her out. Ooh. And he'll just stay shivering here for however long. You want to keep him shivering, <laughs> which is oddly cruel. I'll make him get up. <laughs> well, actually, it's mostly stock with a few mods here and there. So, would those be glass packs I'm hearing or turbos? I want to hear the rest of it. Don't make it go quiet. There was this one high-pitched whine it was making, really grating noise, you know? And I searched and searched, but I couldn't find the source of the noise until we pulled in here. Was it the blower? No, it was Manny screaming in the back like a cat tied to a cruise missile. Oh, oh man, that's great. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good one. Hola. Hey, Manny, Doc Master Velasco here says he's got a place we can dry dock the bone wagon for a while. Oh, yeah. We can't leave a beauty like this out in the fog or her chrome will get pitted. Pitted? Did you hear that, Manny? Are you folks gonna stay in Rubicava for a spell? We're gonna dry dot the bone wagon. Let's get into some innuendo that I don't wanna go there. Man, that was a pretty good burn on Manny. Did I admit you I love Gladys? Okay, we're here looking for a woman named Mercedes Colomar. Okay. Why are you looking for a woman named Mercedes Colomar? I'm not too good with names. Did she have any distinguishing marks for a tattoo? Not that she showed me. Well, like I said, I'm as good with names as you are with the fog. <laughs> um, how would she... Well, I guess you could get a tattoo on her bones, but if you got just got a regular tattoo, it's not going to be in your bone, hopefully. Man, that would be painful. Can you imagine being, having your bone tattooed? I might okay. be here a while. Is there any work in this town? Well, there's lots of work down at the docks, but it's all union work. <laughs> and I just don't see you in that union. <laughs> How do you get around here with all that mist? How do you get around here with all the mist? Well, uh, when you've strolled these docks as long as I have, Pilgrim, you know where you are by the smell of the sea. By the sound of the lonely foghorn, by the icy touch of the cold, salty air. Wow, Manny, could I have an eye patch? Yeah, what is under the eye patch? Just ask. What is under the eye patch? A bit of squirrel. It's not an eye. Oh well, when I was alive, I had an eye patch like this. This one's just for the phantom pain, and that one eye socket used to scream like a banshee when the trade winds blew. This is a Middle Gear game. Under. Hey, Manny. We were in the middle of a conversation here. Hey, hey, okay. Yeah, that was rude. Sure. Oh, before I forget, when I'm talking to these people, I'm getting achievements pop up from asking certain things or exhausting their speech options, but they're not showing up in the, the actual video. So when I just asked them about his eye patch, it popped up. Used to scream like a banshee when the trade winds blew. And uh, back there, when I talked to Celso just now, it was, we only have one mop. So let's check job qualifications with Celso. I don't know what I'm doing with my settings, but the pop-ups seem to come up in some of my videos and not others. Strange. Let's show that picture to this guy. 
So he did say he's not good with faces, so I don't know what's going to come of it. Ever seen this woman? Oh, if this is the woman you're looking for, take my advice. Forget about her. She sailed out of here weeks ago in a cozy portside cabin built for two. And she wasn't alone. Oh, poor Celso. How do you know she sailed out of here? I don't believe it. It's a tough break, Junior, but you gotta face it. Here, look it up in my port log if you want it in writing. Six weeks ago on a Tuesday. Ticket for two, paid in full. I cracked the champagne on the bow myself. Hey, Manny, we were in the middle of a conversation here. Hey, hey, okay. Look, I know how you feel, son. Once I lost a very special lady myself. I waved to her from the docks as she sailed out of port, and I never saw her again. What was her name? The SS La Mancha was her name. Oh, Don't Zing. Let me talk about her, because I, I just can't do it. <laughs> Oh, he just like sail, so the love of his life just sails away. That reminds me of a joke. I lost my rifle, the army charged me eighty-five dollars. That's why in the navy the captain goes down with a ship. Not very good joke, or at least I'm not very good at telling jokes. I just thought it was pretty funny. Uh no, I want to look at it. Velasco's logbook says Celso's wife took a bunk with a hunk. Bunk with a hunk. And I've been playing this on Valentine's Day, so this is really sucky luck for Celso. It won't be on Valentine's Day when you view it. It could be viewing it any time, but I recorded it on Valentine's Day. Celso? Your wife sailed out of here two months ago with another man. Oh, wow. <laughs> two months ago. It's all in there. Oh, Manny, is there a greater constant in nature than the treachery of women? Forget about her, Celso. Have you forgotten yours? I'm going after her. You take over my job here. This mop at least will never let you down. That compass in the handle will sure come in handy, too. Compass in the handle? Oh, this game showing his age a little bit. I don't mind, it still looks nice. This is a giant cactus. That's what it looks like. Oop, sorry, knocked the mic. One year later. Ooh, swanky. Downstairs, I got a customer asking for you. You know I don't like to mingle with the customers. Well, you may want to mingle with this one. She sounds like your type. Well, looks like a Ooh. quiet night in old Rubacaba. See someone walking down there. Kind of looks like an outline of a woman. So let's get down there and see what that's all about. So, once again, if you watch Casablanca, well, you don't need to read any reminders. Manny! Evening, Lupe. I have to tell you about my new organizational system for the coats. Oh, God. I think I had to strangle her. He's too chirpy. Chippy. Chirp. Chippy. Chippy. You think she'll come in tonight? Manny, you ask me that every night. What am I supposed to say? Supposed to say yes. I think she. I think tonight's the night. You're supposed to say yes. I think tonight's the night. Yes, I think tonight's the night that you finally for go more enthusiasm. from waiting for the grand entrance of Ms. Mercedes Colomar. Let's try that again, shall we? Think she'll come in tonight? Yes, I think tonight's definitely the night. Thank you. It's my fault. She's out in the woods alone, you know. <sighs> if you say so, Manny. Bogan coming yet? Yeah, he's down in the casino, probably enjoying his usual lucky streak. 
How's the flow tonight? We're dead tonight, Manny. Everybody's back home for the Day of the Dead, I guess. Except for the casino. The casino's hopping. Why is it that all the people who don't go home are the same people who just love to gamble? Well, I guess when you've got nothing to go home to, you've got nothing to lose. Hey, we should put that over the door. <laughs> that would be a great slogan for a casino. That reminds me of a guy I work with who didn't have very good family life and he just gambled all the money away working. Wouldn't go home hardly. Everything okay back in the land of fur and fedoras? Everything's in order. It's beautiful. I can't wait for people to come in and try the new system. It's so cool. Want to hear about uh, it? I want to hit her. She's so chirpy. Reminds me of somebody I know in real life. I want to strangle her too. Okay, tell me all the details about your new coat check system. Yay! Okay, I found all these plastic tiles in the back, left over from the automat, and guess what? They all have numbers on them. So what I'm doing is, I give one to everyone who checks a code in and... Manny, you're not even listening to me. I go to all this work organizing your coats, and you don't even care. Lupe. Forget it. Don't pretend to care. No, I want to hear. Yeah, I want to hear. Someone else about it. Someone who cares. Please, Please tell me about tell your, me new, about coat your new coat check system. system. Really. Don't patronize me, Cal. Okay, back to work. Okay. Oh, and I got an achievement. Um, it's below the ah oh, damn it I didn't get to see what it says again uh, you're not even listening to me ask Lupe about your organizational system and in the third video I showed you if you tried to pick up Hava in that secret base it says hey yeah now that we're not working together because you're pushing the pickup button you're trying to pick her up and if you do it here, not my employees. You can't pick up your employees. I thought it was neat. Let's just see down here. Who? Calva, Calvera, Cav. I can't remember how to say his name now. Manny Cal Calvera Cafe. Yeah, I couldn't quite read it. Meche. Meche. Manny, help me. I've been lost for so long. Why didn't you look for me? I did. You ran off. Why? Because you said I was no good. I've been all alone in the world for a whole year. What is that thing? because of you! Birds in this game are so friggin' creepy. That one is no different. Domino. This is Lambada? Lambada? Lambda? No, it's not Lambda. Lambada. Ow. Man, that would have hurt. Oh, wow, that would have hurt. This gonna be an annual thing with you, Manny? Every day of the dead, you toss your bones into the drink and I fish them out? I don't plan to be around that long, Velasco. As soon as I find out where that ocean liner's going, I'm after it. Ha oh, oh. ha! That ship's going to Puerto Zapato. That's the other side of the world. Ain't no ships going out that way but the old limbo here. Limbo? But, but nothing. If the limbo's my only hope, then I'm already on board. Well, good luck, son. That's all I got to say. I gotta say, I would not sail in the limbo. <laughs> I would not. We've run out of time, and this looks like a good spot to any to stop for now. If you're enjoying my content, I'm also doing the Banner Saga and Salt. I upload four times a week. I hope you'll join me next time for more Illusions of Casablanca. And this is a continuation of the story as we get deeper into it. Rupercabra is one of my favorite areas because of. Uh, Casablanca illusions and just because I like the characters in the game so thank you for watching hope you'll catch me in the next one 
See you later. There's lots of sand. One hit in a way. So, do what I can. Um. Stone wall. Yeah, stone wall. Okay. Can't see. Oh god, I forgot about him. Did I attack him? <laughs> 